This is an introduction to the body scan practice. This introduction maybe will be a little under 10 minutes. The body scan practice will be 35 or 40 minutes long. When we do meditation, we're not trying to quieten the mind, trying to stop the mind. If you've ever tried it, you'll realize it's not quite that easy, it doesn't quite work like this. The act of trying to quieten the mind will be another tension, intention, another effort, another action, and that can cause more frustration and more anxiety. The method is just to simply notice what happens, to notice how it is. The nature of the mind is to be restless, the nature of the mind is to think and be noisy. However, thoughts are not facts, they're only thoughts. However seriously we may take them, they are still only thoughts. And I think the danger is that we get a little obsessed and we take our thoughts very, very, very seriously. If we can notice them arising and passing away, like clouds passing from one side of the sky to the other, allowing them to come into being and move along and disappear again, one moment at a time. Then we're observing the mental process. And this is a little bit like how meditation works. There are different methods of meditation, traditional methods. One method, for example, is chanting or repeating a sound or a phrase. Another method is to pay attention to the breathing process, breathing in, breathing out. And we'll also look at this a little later. Sometimes counting the breath. And another method also, because the breath is a physical experience, it's always there. Another method is just to pay attention to our physical experience. And this is what we do with the body scan. It's also what, what happens with walking meditation or Tai Chi or Qigong or yoga. We have to be physically present in the body. We have to be mindful, pay attention to what our body is doing. I think the price we pay for our large brains and our intelligence is to have a very dispersed mental process where the activity can gather momentum and become too dynamic, become very active, which is fine as long as we can slow it down again and it can quieten. And one method of doing this is just to pay attention to our physical experience. Our emotional state is also visceral, physiological, it's real. We need a body to feel emotions, we need a limbic system. Some people say the emotions are the chi of the internal organs. But just noticing our emotional tone, are we happy or sad, are we tired, are we energized, are we depressed, are we anxious, just noticing how it is, breathing into this and noticing it. The body scan practice, which is what we're going to do here, is in a way the simplest of all. We're just going to go rest our attention on each part of the body in turn. And I will lead through from the head to the feet. The instructions are to bring our attention to that part of the body, that region. And some areas may be quite strong. You may have some pain or discomfort in that area. And other areas may be quite dull or numb and you may not be able to feel anything. And that's fine. Notice that the temptation is to hold on to the pleasurable sensations and reject the painful sensations, which is another mind action. 
but just allowing it to be, allowing the sensation to come into being and then move along. The body scan is to learn to practice inhabiting our bodies as fully as we can. Not looking at our bodies from the outside, not thinking about our, our bodies as an observer, but to inhabit the body more fully. We're not aiming for any particular experience, any special sensation. There's no wrong or right way to do this. Well, the way to do this is just to notice the sensations of the present. So there's no magical healing, there's no secret here, but very simply to just pay attention to the physical sensation as it is, each moment, one moment at a time. When you do this body scan practice, you may feel quite sleepy because as the muscles relax, the brain can naturally think the body is asleep or should be sleeping because this is what happens during sleep. The mu muscle tone relaxes during sleep of an unconscious person and that's a physiological reaction. It may also be that you're just completely exhausted. Your body is very tired. There's a lot of adrenal burnout and your body needs rest and the innate intelligence of the body is remarkable. It's far greater than we acknowledge. So the body will do what it needs to do. It's homeostasis. It has this inherent intelligence, fortunately. If it was left up to us to breathe, we would probably forget. So breathing, all the autonomic, automatic functions happen by themselves. Digestion, breathing, and circulation of blood. The body will regulate itself given half a chance. So if you do feel very sleepy, that's fine. If you fall asleep, that may happen. And you'll still gain some benefit from the practice, even if you can't maintain awareness all the way through. However, to gain maximum benefit, it's probably best if you can find a time of day when you're not that tired and you can stay awake for the entire practice. So a few other things. Find a quiet time where you're not likely to be disturbed. Turn off your phone. Tell your friends and family that this is your meditation time and you need 45 minutes for yourself. They will still be there later. Setting up your physical posture. I'll lead, most people like to do the body scan lying down and I'll lead it this way. However, you can do the body scan sitting in a chair if you do like to sit, then choose something like a dining room chair with a straight back and a firm base. Where your feet can be flat on the ground, you can also have a pillow or cushion under your feet, and your head lifting up, back straight, rather than slouching or being in a sloppy posture that you would, would happen in an armchair. Because we need the spine upright, yet relaxed, shoulders relaxed, so the blood can circulate to the head, the brain, the spinal cord, cerebrospinal fluid, everything can move and the muscles can relax to get the best out of this practice. Try to have your head supported or not let your head be thrown back, keeping your chin a little bit tucked in, the back of the neck long, so we open the space at the back of the skull and top of the neck, rather than this space being compressed and squashed. So we need that openness at the base of the skull. And the same if we lie down. If we lie down, it may be best to have a pillow or folded blanket behind our head. So again, the forehead is slightly higher than the chin. The chin tucked in a little bit, yet the chest open. If we have back pain, probably perhaps having our knees bent and our feet on the mat. We can also put a pillow behind our knees. And if you're in a lot of physical pain or have a disc injury, Perhaps you could try the astronaut position. The astronaut position is with a chair, with your feet, your heels and your calves resting on the chair, so your lower back is flat on the mat, on the surface you're lying on. Your hands resting by your side. Perhaps palms up. Or you could have your hands on your belly, pillow under the armpits. 
now I'll lead through the practice. 